Jaimasi Saru, tapai kasih mana hunca? Jaimasi Ana, mau ekdom ramrosu, tapai kos tu hunca. Yeah, my son Chuchu, dan nubad. Thank you so much for um, meeting with us today and for sharing your thoughts on the book. It's really lovely to see you all the way from Kathmandu. Oh yeah, see, so I'm also happy to see you again and say Great. something about uh, uh, Nepali women's story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So you um, are in chapter six of the book where you share your story of going through COVID. You also translated for me for about 10 of the ladies, I think. Mm -hmm. And you serve on the committee of Women Without Roots Nepal. So you're mm -hmm. still involved in everything that's going on in Nepal. So first of all, let me ask you about your COVID. You had a serious bout of COVID and I write about it in the book. You ended up in hospital and, and we nearly lost you. So how are you doing now? Uh, uh, Anna, I'm uh, I'm okay now. Uh, my health is good, and no problem. No any health problem. Now I'm recovered from that COVID. Wonderful. I'm really relieved um, to hear that. So uh, next question then: Why did you want to help me tell the story of Nepal's women to the wider world? Okay. So uh, I want to. Uh, share Nepali Christian women's life uh, to the people of the world because I'm Nepali and I know their inner struggle and how they are facing in their life. So, uh, so I helped you. Uh, so I want to say that Nepal is a patriarchal society and it is not easy for women to uh, take any important decision. By their, by themselves, uh, to believe in Jesus, still they have to face many challenges from their family and society. Before some years ago, it was very hard to take decision to follow Jesus. Uh, at that time, uh, we accepted Jesus as their savior. Uh, some women were beaten. Some women were thrown away from home. Mm -hmm. And they had many struggles. Despite uh, of this, now in every Nepali church, the number of women believers are more than men uh, due to lack of education, finance, and skill. Uh, Nepali Christian women have struggle in their life, but they have strong faith in Jesus. So please. Uh, pray for our Nepali women as well as Christian women so uh, they can grow in grow spiritually and uh, financially financially and in uh, every sector of their lives mm -hmm. yeah I wonderfully put yeah I pray for that too for them to flourish in every area of their lives and yes. and to have strong faith they need all the encouragement really that they can get yeah really good thank you um, is there a particular woman or a story that impacted you and that um, has had a lasting impression on you? Okay, so uh, uh, every woman oh, to whom we met, their stories and their life really encouraged me. Uh, but one particular woman sees, uh, her name is uh, Anzu and who was a successful business women uh, at that time when she was in success uh, she refused to accept jesus and she was against the christians but unfortunately um, uh, her husband suffered from cancer and uh, she, she also lost her health and she lost everything on uh, on the treatment of her husband and at that time she decided to go to the church and uh, in Jesus she found hope so um, so at that from that time she followed Jesus uh, and she accepted Jesus as her savior and from that day she started to pray for uh, others and for her for her for herself so um, so now she became the prayer warrior 
and sometimes I go to visit her and we pray together for many issues and at her areas now he sees the uh, sees the leader to lead other women's in prayer and now now sees the she became prayer warrior and from her life I learned many things uh, we can uh, we can lost we can uh, lost or lose everything uh, but uh, if Jesus is in our sight we can do everything all things so uh, I'm so inspired by her life that is wonderful to hear and I'm so glad that you continue to meet up with her you didn't know each other before I think and now you have become friends and encourage each other so that's wonderful Ruth, yes from this yeah great uh, now now we are we became so good friend and so if if we can't meet each other we we call each other and uh ask prayer issues and we pray for uh each other wonderful well that's lovely um i'm encouraged by that just on its own so thank you for your time and for sharing your thoughts about the book we are praying for you here and um it's just been great to see you so i must see you Okay, Zeus Anna, and and thank you for uh, this uh, opportunity you have given me, and I hope this uh, uh, book, uh, this book will impact many people, and uh, yeah, Danibad. Danibad, Peri Betala. Azur Peri Betala, Zeus.